guys, welcome to my vlog again. Um, we're back and we are making this delicious dish called stuff in a pepper. We will be putting stuff in peppers for this one. Yes, ma'am. And so we are taking <laughs> that right there. Um, it's from uh, a chicken? Cow. We're not sure if this originated from a chicken or a cow. Or a pig. Or a pig, like, but we do know it's a, or a, turkey a lean source of protein, and it was alive one time. Mmm. Yummy. It's dead now. Oh no! It's flying away! It's flying! <laughs> okay. Okay. So okay, we got it's it. not alive anymore. <laughs> no worries there. That was scary. It almost flew away. Yep. Um, the dogs saw it too, and we are putting it in there with some oil, and we are just frying it until it tastes good to eat. This is how you make fried chicken. So then we're putting it with some rice, and the rice comes from a chicken, and it's um, the milk, actually, from the chicken. I also want to show you our selection of peppers for this dish. Oh! <laughs> for this Merry dish. Christmas! <laughs> We will be using an instant pot for the first time, both of us, mm -hmm. home alone, yeah. never used one before. So, um, I was informed that it could kill you. Yep. Very high pressure going on here. So, that's Lots exactly why we're going to do it, actually. Yep. Um, just the risk and everything, like, it just, it seems really fun and, like, mm -hmm. interesting. It's what the doctor ordered. Literally, my doctor told me to take more risks. So, that tells you how interesting I am. So we will update you later on how dead our animal that we had stays, and how <laughs> and how the chicken milk goes. <laughs> okay, guys, this is really serious. Actually, like we could probably be on a cooking channel. I say we make a cooking channel. Mm -hmm. I say we might need to do that. Okay. So like so, that's it. Now we have bigger plans. Yep. And so that could be another risk that you take. Yep. As your therapist says. Is, <laughs> oh, I hope this therapy works for me too. <laughs> Hi guys. I am just doing a dissection right now of a dead animal. Um, I'm sort of performing surgery, if you will, just kind of tearing its muscles apart. That's the best way to do it. Because yep. if you eat other animals' muscles, then you get muscles. Mm -hmm. And so, like, after this meal, like, we're just going to be, like, ripped. Okay? Yeah. So we're just going to, like, come back and look like a bodybuilder because we are eating muscles. And so what goes in, then you are. Yep. You are what you eat. <laughs> yes, that's another way to put it, Caitlin. You know what? It only takes one good meal to become an athlete. Like, you could eat donuts for breakfast, and you could have, like cotton candy, and ice cream. I just ate a whole bag of gummy worms, and And now we're gonna eat mussels, and then we'll have mussels, so then like, that's all. Yep. We're gonna, like, have a class that people can come learn about what kind of mussels you can eat. I'm not gonna do anything weird though, so like, if that puts you off a little bit to hear about like, what kind of dead mussels can I eat to grow my own mussels, don't even worry. It's not going to be weird. We don't do weird things at all, actually. Yeah. Um, we're actually really normal. We also love to incorporate homemade, like, not homemade, homegrown, like, plants. So, in a lot of our dishes, we'll insert, like, an aloe stem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you might add a bay leaf for flavor. We add an aloe stem. It nourishes your meal and your belly and, like, everything on the inside mm -hmm. it's also really great for sunburns so on the inside yep so if you're like burning from the inside then we love to give you an aloe plant we suggest pairing it with spicy food um that can sometimes burn the insides but this will be the Very. remedy um people come here from far and wide and they order our food and we make it for them and we tell them that it might be like an hour wait time but it's gonna be worth it. Oh my gosh, I just stuck on her tail and now she's limping. What? <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Are you okay? Oh, oh my gosh. Bailey, what did I do to you? So, update. Um, 
She actually only wanted the dead muscles, so like, she's now just begging for food, so mm -hmm. that's it. Like, that's all she wanted. We like to call ourselves a zero waste kitchen, but our one weakness is we use paper towels. <laughs> And we actually go through a lot of these every single day because we're professional cooks. And so we are washing our hands every 10 minutes all day long. And so every single time, new paper towel. If you have any ideas on how to help us become less wasteful, feel free to comment below. It's probably called a towel, but like, it's fine. <laughs> but we'll, we'll take any feedback you have. Hi guys, it's us. We just wanted to let you know, if you're really inspired by our cooking and you want to be more like us, we do sell this limited edition uh, salt that we use in our recipes every single day. If you want to get some inspiration and be like us, you can purchase this. Uh, we sell it in one ounce portions, and that will last you anywhere from like a day to a month, depending, <laughs> depending, depending on how salty you like your food. Um, we use like one of these per serving, so <laughs> so you're gonna need a lot. And it's only three ninety nine <laughs> proportion. So um, we recommend one meal per day just for muscle growth, equivalent to the kids in Africa. And so you're really just getting a feel for um, that, and you can really limit your portions too, mm -hmm. just to like put yourself in their shoes. And like if you really want the true experience, then only eat. <laughs> We recommend pairing this with a nice water. Um, yeah, you may get very bloated from this kind of salt intake, but it's part of the muscle growth process. Yeah, so this is actually tiny muscle particles. If you don't know, it actually comes from cows. Yeah. Um, so we love this salt um, mm -hmm. that comes from cows because it's very unique and not many other stores or like nobody else has it actually so the only place you can get it is right here in our hands so mm -hmm. order it now for a total of $3.99 per ounce and um, like I said we recommend getting like 30 a month and then just really sticking to the salt and water diet only <laughs> hey guys just wanted to check in really quick um, if you look to my right you see Caitlin removing the veins which is also something that you find in muscle in and around muscle. Look so, at this. That is a good one. So That means this was a healthy pepper. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just take all those seeds and veins out. Just take away any chance of contamination. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know part of the process. It's actually very tedious um, to just open these peppers up and prepare them for the filling. Um, it might be the longest part of this whole process. And sometimes we go through like a meditation just to prepare the peppers as well um, because they're going to be stuffed with muscles. And so it's kind of like a really intense process in general. And so really preparing the peppers is really important. Yep. So we just, we're all about peace and love here, even for the food that we take into our bodies because you are what you eat. And if you don't eat love, you don't have love. So. Yeah. So, and we go to Love Church, and so that's really key and part key part of our pepper process is really just like um, making sure these peppers feel loved before we eat them because then, like, they will love us, and then we will love other people too. Mm -hmm. Yep, just loving ourselves from the inside out, yeah. nourishing ourselves with this good food. So it's really important that you pour love into these peppers. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to have a dance party because we want positive energy in our um, kitchen. Okay, so here we go. I just want to let you guys know, um, I'm not nope. <laughs> So we are actually observing something right now. Um, we see that the chicken, the chicken milk is actually very milky. So um, 
right there and it's even like dripping. So we just finished our quinoa. You can see it right there. Um, I think it's gonna be great. So now we're going to add it to our mixture. Caitlin has introduced me to church and quinoa, so my life is changing every week. I'm now going to mix the quinoa in with the meat and vegetable mixture. This has been the majority of my night. Um, I did spend three hours sleeping. Actually, almost four hours sleeping. Um, four hours? I think it was like six to ten before no. I started this. No? Caitlin thinks she knows me better than I know myself, so yeah, we'll settle that off camera. <laughs> Caitlin, fill each pepper. Mmm, yum! It's literally stuffed peppers. Like, like we're putting stuff in peppers, as yeah. we mentioned before. So she's starting with mine, which is really generous of her. Mmm. <laughs> you might find some quinoa on your shoes tomorrow. <laughs> we like to wear our quinoa, too. We're listening to a song called Hallelujah because here we are not about just quinoa but also church. So as you can see, I'm helping because we love church. Yep. So the first pepper had way more protein in it. There's pretty much just quinoa in this one, which is fine because it's hers. And and I already have all the muscle you need. Yep. Just look at those muscles. Mm. She's wearing a tank top so she can flex for you guys on camera. Yeah, just nothing happened, you, but it's okay. Everything she does is just one big flex. People, My life is a flex, actually. People say weird flex, but okay to her like <laughs> all day long because she's literally always looks like she <laughs> looks like <laughs> she's flexing. Really and so then just, you just make it like rain quinoa. I'm gonna go. So you're gonna come over to this instant pot which we've never used before, and what do we do? Let's just show the camera really quick. Let's do a close-up. Mmm, gorgeous! So we've now substituted two of the main ingredients <laughs> in this dish. And so we basically just made it our own. But, okay. like, that's why we have a restaurant is because we don't just copy a recipe. Like, we make it our own. I've never used this, but I, I know what I'm doing. Sure. Let the pressure release. Does it just start? Oh. <laughs> We're not sure what's happening here, but so it says on now. So we just assume so that's all we do and then we let the pressure release naturally about 4 minutes before opening the lid. This is the important part. This is where people die when they <laughs> don't let the pressure get released. It's like not a big deal or anything, but like some people kind of die sometimes. <laughs> We are hoping to not be those people because we are going to church tomorrow. Yep. What does that have to do with this? Um, because we are incorporating church and our restaurant now. Oh, so if we die tonight, we can't go to church tomorrow. I That's think what, what I just saying. said. Sorry, I was reading a text from her mom. Oh, is she telling you not to kill me? She said, cute picture. I lied. It wasn't a text. It was a comment on Facebook. We do not lie in this restaurant. <laughs> Forgive me. I forgive you only because I go to church. Am I redeemed? Yes. Okay. Redeeming is great. So as you can see, this is part of our ritual, actually. I'm poppy. I'm um, poppy. We do this just to prepare the food, like as it's cooking, to realize that we are not poppy, but she's poppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's integral to the process because it's all about identity and being true to who you are. This is also a 10 minute video, as I am now realizing. <laughs> I am really afraid that this ritual is going to last 10 minutes. So we're going to do a, a, a cut. We're gonna cut. So we just went through something really traumatic, guys. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna pull this forward. Wait, hold on, hold on. I see my father do this with her. It's kind of like a fountain. These tongs. So we have a 
officially completed our thing, like, two hours later almost. <laughs> so, um, that's what they look like. Now, are we going to try them? Or are we going to bed? I think we should eat. It's 12.30. Okay, so we're actually going to eat it, but I need you to get in here. Oh. Are we cutting it up right now? Are approaching each other? The division is... Is that your piece of mine? <laughs> you can have it. <laughs> Hi, Poppy. <laughs> so this is the heart juice, actually. Mm. Also known as blood. Mmm. <laughs> reminds me. <laughs> reminds me of shrimp cocktail. <laughs> I think the ketchup has gone bad. <laughs> Maybe this is actually a shrimp cocktail in here. I think this is a great option. To anyone who wants to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Gotta get that protein even if it tastes weird. Mm -hmm. Shall we rate this um, a 1 out of 10? <laughs> we can only go up from here, folks. So... I just want to let you guys know, we are not sponsored by Whole Foods, <laughs> but if they're interested, I'm interested. Yeah. So, like, not already, but, like, it could be a thing. Mm -hmm. So, if you're out there watching, come sponsor us. <laughs> so, like, subscribe, comment down below. Right now, please. Do, 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 do.